The Knicks begin the second half of their season on Wednesday night when they play their 42nd game of the season against the Pacers. My guy, CP the Franchise of Knicks Fan TV, he's been, as usual, all over the Knicks this season, and he joins me now. CP, have you enjoyed the first half of the Knicks season? Yeah, Dexter, well, first of all, good to be on with you. And I had this team, I had this Knicks team at about 41 wins. That was my off-season prediction. They're at 22 and 19 at the time of this recording. And they've been just about where I expected them to be. You know, we, we've seen them, some highlights with this team coming off of an eight-game winning streak. They also ripped off a four-game winning streak. You talk about the acquisition of Jalen Brunson, how great he's been with this with this Knicks team, being a, a stabilizing force at the point guard position, coming off of a 44-point performance against the Bucs, a tough loss against the Bucs, but you saw Jalen Brunson with 14 points in crunch time. He has been every bit as clutch as any NBA player out there, and he's been delivering for the Knicks. Uh, Julius Randle having an all-star season. You know, that was going to be one of the keys for the Knicks to have a good season was Julius Randle being able to bounce back from a subpar season. Last year, we've seen improvements across the board, especially shooting the ball from three. So you hope Julius Randle and Jalen get all-star nods. And so, you know, this team has had some rough spots. Closing games has been their nemesis. When you talk about the nine-point meltdown against the Dallas Mavericks, 23-point lead they blew against the Hawks at home in November, and just recently a 17-point lead against the Bucks with five minutes to go in the third. So closing games has been a bane for them. But overall, I, I think it's been a positive season so far. Yeah, it's been a positive. You had you talked about your expectations where you had them at 41 wins, so it seems like they're on pace or a little bit yeah. ahead of where you might have expected them to be. But with the second half starting, CP, a lot of fans are going to be looking towards the February 9th trade deadline. You know that. I know you guys are going to be talking about a lot on yeah. Knicks Fan TV. What move or moves would you like the Knickerbockers to make? Yeah. I wouldn't expect them to make any any major moves. No blockbuster trades on the horizon. I think the Knicks will hold on to their premier first-round picks and wait until the draft or into the offseason where they may look to strike on a, on a bigger-name acquisition. So I would look for them to make some trades within the margins. They could be sellers when you look at Evan Fournier. A Cam Reddish's name has come up a lot in, in trade rumors, so I think they would look to find those guys a new team. The Knicks could use some bench scoring. I would look at acquisitions such as maybe a Malik Beasley, a Jordan Clarkson, although I'm not so sure if the Knicks and the Utah Jazz will be uh, discussing trades anytime soon, but I think they could use an upgrade off of the bench. Uh, a nice scoring option at the guard or the wing spot will certainly help this team as they move into the second half. All right, we'll see what they do on the trade front. Those talks are going to heat up as we move towards February. And lastly, CP, when you watch this team in the second half, what are you hoping that they can build on and accomplish as they move towards the end of the season? You, you certainly hope that the heartbreaking losses that they've suffered in crunch time, that they're able to learn from them and that will help them in the second half in executing in crunch time, inbounding the ball properly, hitting your free throws, handling pressure defense. Can Tom Thibodeau make proper adjustments when the game is on the line, whether it's schematically or to his substitution patterns to help this team win games? This team does not have a superstar on this team that can bail them out night in and night out. So their execution is going to have to be on point. I would also look at Obi Toppin, Dex. If the Knicks don't make any major moves at the trade deadline, I'd like this to see them utilize Obi Toppin in a way that can really help their bench and elevate their bench. Right now, they really have him settled into a, a corner three role, and, and we really have not seen Obi Toppin's potential maximized since he's been here three years with the Knicks. I think he's his ascension coming off of the bench would be very important for this Knicks team in, this, in the second half as they make a push for the playoffs. And then lastly, the Knicks are sitting within the, the sixth or seventh spot in the East. They have competition with Indiana. They have three games left with the Pacers. They have already uh, beaten the Hawks once, but they've also lost to the Hawks once, and they have not played the Miami Heat yet. Those are teams that the Knicks are going to be seeing in this second half. The Knicks need to focus on winning the season series against these teams because when push comes to shove and this team is hovering between could be six or fifth or six or even tenth in, in the East, you want to be able to win those season series against those teams in your wheelhouse so that you can own the tiebreakers and position yourself better come playoff time. No, absolutely right. Got to take care of business against the teams that you are competing with. CP, one last thing before I get you out of here real quick. You said you had the Knicks projected at 41 wins. How are you feeling about that? Do you think they exceed that or, or yeah. not? How do you think that's going to go? 
And with the way Jalen Brunson and Julius Randle are playing, I, I think, hey, maybe 43, maybe a, a couple more there. But they, they've got to learn how to close games. Can they stay healthy? You know, Tom Thibodeau has shortened the rotation to nine men. R.J. Barrett will be coming back from injury. But some of these games in late game situations, they seem very tired, very fatigued. You hope that they can get through the grind of the second half of the season, and maybe they can pull off a couple more wins. So maybe 43 decks is, is where I'll have okay. them finish at okay. the end of the season. All right, there we go. 43. I feel like that'll have Nick fans pretty happy for the most part. At least they, they should be. But you know how that goes as a host yeah. of Knicks Fan TV. You know, sometimes the Knicks fans are happy. Sometimes they are not. We will see right. what they Change, do in the changes, second half. It changes day by day. It, yes, <laughs> it, it's a roller coaster ride like this season has been for the Knicks. That is CP, the franchise. Thank you for joining me. He's the co-host of Knicks Fan TV. You also see him appearing on SNY as well, too. CP, always thank you for the time. Appreciate it, brother. Anytime, Dex. Have a good one. Thank you.